ஆசிர்வித்த தேவன் இந்த நாளிலும் இந்த ஆங்கில ஆராதனையிலே நாங்கள் ஆண்டவரை தொழுது கொள்ளும்படியாக கற்றுக் கொடுத்த இந்த நேரங்கால நிமிஷங்களுக்காக நன்றி செலுத்துகிறோம் வந்திருக்கிற யாவரையும் உடைய கரங்களில் ஒப்பு கொடுக்குறோம் அப்பா தடைப்பட்ட ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைகளையும் உடைய சமூகத்தில் ஒப்பு கொடுக்கிறோம் நீர் தாமே கொண்டு வந்து சேர்ப்பிராக என் தேவன் தாமே இந்த ஆராதனை முழுவதையும் கத்தர் ஆண்டவரே வழிநடத்தும்படியாய் பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவர் எங்களை ஆட்கொள்ளும்படியாய் செவிக்கிறோம் ஆண்டவரே இந்த நாளிலும் கத்தாவே விடுதலையோடும் ஆராதிக்க உங்களை துதிக்க மகிமைப்படுத்த கத்தர் எங்கள் ஒவ்வொருவரையும் அபிஷேகத்தினை வழிநடத்தும்படியாய் செவிக்கிறோம் ஆவியானவர் தாமே எங்களோடு இடைபடுவீராக ராஜா வார்த்தையில் கொண்டு எங்களோடு பேசும்படியாய் ஒவ்வொரு பாங்களின் தகப்பனை நம்முடைய நாம மகிமைப்படும்படியாய் அண்டவரே தகப்பனை நம்மை உயர்த்தும்படியாய் கத்திரங்கள் ஒவ்வொருவரையும் ஆட்கொள்ளும்படியாய் செவிக்கிறோம் ஆண்டவரே வந்திருக்கிற யாவரும் கரங்களில் ஒப்பு கொடுக்கிறோம் நிறைய ஆளுகை செய்வீராக ஆரம்பம் முதல் முடிவரை உடைய தெய்வீக பிரசன்னம் எங்களை ஆட்கொண்டு வழிநடத்த வேண்டும் என்று எங்கள் மீட்பு ரட்சகரும் ஆகிய இயேசு கிறிஸ்டின் செவிக்கிறோம் நல்ல பிதாவே ஆமேன் ஆமேன் the meaning of the word assurance is the security of knowing that one's name is written in heaven the most important step in get, getting this assurance is by accepting christ as our savior according to romans chapter 10 and verse 9 and 10 so let's sing this first song blessed assurance jesus is mine let's praise our savior because he has washed us in his precious blood
praise the Lord. Uh, let us thank God for giving us this opportunity to gather in his presence. Uh, let us rise up and start thanking God in one accord. Let us worship the Lord together. Let us close our eyes and start worshiping him. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, O oh Lord. Thank you for helping us to gather in your presence, O oh Lord, in one accord, O oh Father, as a church, O oh Father. Thank you for enabling each and every one of us who have gathered here to come in your presence and to spend time with you, O oh Father, to know about you and to listen to your word, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord, that you enabled everyone to uh, gather in your presence today, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you have guided us, O oh Lord, all through this week, O oh Father. We praise you, O oh Lord. We praise you and we thank you, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we welcome you today, O oh Father, in this place, O oh Lord. As for your word has said, where two or three have gathered in my name, O oh Father, you are there in our midst, O oh Father. Lord, in belief, Lord, we believe that you are here today, O oh Father. You are here with us tonight, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus, that you have... Uh, go, uh, you are going to dwell among our praises today, oh Father. We, uh, all of us, Lord, we gather and we humble ourselves in your presence, oh Father. Holy Spirit, we welcome you today, oh Father, in this uh, English service, oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you, oh Father. God of truth, we praise you, oh God. God of hope, we praise you, oh God. God of who is rich in mercy, we praise you, O oh Lord. Let us praise him. Let us praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, O oh God. Thank you, Father. God who supplies all our needs, we praise you, O oh Father. Jehovah Jireh, we praise you, O oh Father. Jehovah Shammah, we praise you, O oh Lord. Jehovah Nisi, the God who gives us victory, we praise you, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for guiding us, O oh Father, all through these seven months. O oh Father, you have guided us. You have brought us this far, O oh Father. We are so thankful for each and every way in which you have led us thus far, O oh Father. You will lead us throughout, O oh Father. We believe in you, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for every step of the way that, Lord, that you were with us, O oh Father. Lord, through the ups and downs, O oh Father, in our life, O oh Father. You were with us, O oh Father. You were midst of it all, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the same God today, yesterday, today, and forevermore, O oh Father. We praise you, O oh God. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're the same God uh, to the near and to the far, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That Lord, you are our rock and our salvation, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you for forgiving us and thank you for redeeming us with your blood, O oh Father. Thank you for giving your life on the cross for our sins, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you remember our sins no more, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, O oh Father. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies, O oh Father. We won't be here without you, O oh Father. Thank you for guiding us throughout this day, O oh Lord. Let us clap hands and try thanking him thanking him for helping us to come here oh father thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you for being with us oh lord thank you for being with each and every uh, person oh lord thank you jesus in their struggles in their pain oh lord you are with them oh father in people who are sick lord you heal them oh father thank you jesus thank you oh lord thank you for giving us good strength oh father thank you for giving us good uh, uh, fellowship, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord. Lord, uh, you unite us in one accord, Father, tonight, O oh Father. We welcome you, O oh Father. Holy Spirit, you come and uh, you, you be with us in this worship, O oh Father. You take hold of each and every one of us, our minds, our bodies, and our soul, O oh Lord. We commit it to you, O oh Father. We surrender it to you, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, O oh Lord. In Psalm 46, 1, we read, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Thank you, Jesus, that you were a very present help and you were present amidst all our troubles. Oh, Father, you were there with us. Oh, Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, O oh Lord. In Psalm 82, 18, verse 2, we read, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge. Thank you, Father, that you are a fortress. And Lord, thank you that... 
you are a strong tower that we can take refuge in oh lord lord in this world lord there are so much of worries and there are so much of news going on all, all around us oh father but thank you oh lord that you have given us that you are our refuge and that we can take fort uh, you are our fortress and we can take refuge in you oh lord thank you that you are a strong tower oh father thank you jesus thank you jesus in uh, isaiah 43:2 we read when you pass through the waters i will be with you and through the rivers and they shall not overflow you when you walk through the fire you shall not be burned nor, the, nor shall the flames scorch you thank you lord thank you for all your promises that you've given Amen. to your people oh lord Amen. the same god that was with daniel the same god that was with moses the same god that was with joshua lord dear, you are here the same god is with us tonight dear children of god dear people of god let us believe and thank god that he is with us tonight oh father and he is going to lead us through let us all clap our hands and thank the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus you are a faithful god oh god you are a faithful god who keeps your covenant with, with your people oh father you are a faithful god who keeps your covenant your mercy is for a thousand generations we praise you oh father your rod and your staff they comfort us we thank you oh father you have made us exceedingly glad in your presence we praise you oh father you lead your people like a flock we praise you oh father you are the resurrection and the life we praise you oh father tonight oh lord resurrect each and every one of us with your power oh father those who are hurting those who are sad those who have lot of uh, worries in their life oh father as we worship you tonight oh father we believe that you will deliver us and you will resurrect our father resurrect each and every one of us our father thank you lord thank you lord you divided by the sea you divided the sea by your strength oh lord we praise you oh lord you deliver the righteous from all their troubles oh father we praise you oh lord we you strengthen us oh lord thank you lord we praise you for that oh father creator of heaven and earth we praise you oh lord we praise you your god of the hills and the valleys we praise you oh lord creator the creation bow down to you oh father creation bows down to you oh father for you have said for let everything that has breath praise the lord lord amen, tonight amen. we have breath and we are here to praise you oh father praise with all jesus, our hearts with all our mind with with all the, with all our soul oh father thank you jesus thank you jesus thank, thank you lord, father thank we you praise lord. you we praise, praise you we praise jesus. you In Ephesians 3:20 we read Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundant exceedingly abundantly above all things that we as or th- that that more than we ask or think according to the power that works in us to him be the glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever amen, amen. Thank amen. you Jesus as Paul said oh father you are able to do more than exceedingly and ab- abundantly Amen. more than Amen. we ask or think oh father you, you have let us oh father all to the seven you, months there are no words to express how much you have been there for us how much your love has been for us how much your grace has been for us that how much we have found a, a he- hope lord through your grace oh father Jesus. thank you for your grace thank you for your love oh lord thank you for your mercy oh father thank, thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you, for all things are possible with you oh father Amen. thank you jesus thank you jesus everything in this world oh father is possible with you oh father with your power lord we step out into this world oh father with your strength thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you lord thank you lord thank you father all things are possible with god and when god is it as uh, everything all our struggles all our pain all our uh, 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 struggles lord you will Uh, deliver us immediately oh father lord when our leg slips you uh, reach out your hand and pulled uh, peter or your lord you saved peter oh father you saved all your disciples when they were in pain oh father the same god is here tonight oh uh, dear children of god he is going to deliver us let's pray and thank god lord let's clap our hands and thank jesus thank you jesus thank you, thank you, thank you jesus that you're going to deliver us Alleluia. you're going Alleluia. to be with us you're going Alleluia. to resurrect us you're going to make the dry bones in our life the dry bones situations in our life where we feel that there is no way out oh father you are there with us oh father uh, 
resurrect and come, uh, come into life for oh, father when he obeyed your word of oh, father you made the dry bones to uh, uh, to resurrect and have life of oh, father you did it of oh, father Amen. thank you jesus that we when we obey to your word thank you for all the wonderful miraculous things that you're going Amen. to do oh, in our lives of oh, father with belief and with pr- prayer we thank you jesus for the, all the wonderful and miraculous things that you are going to do for us let us clap hands and in belief for dear church hallelujah hallelujah thank you for all the miraculous things that you are going to do oh lord Amen. you are doing it oh lord thank you jesus thank you Thank you, Jesus. You are the God who dwells among our praise. Thank you for dwelling among our praises, O oh Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In in Matthew 19:20, we read, but Jesus looked at them and said, and said to them, with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Lord, when the disciples had so much of doubt and questions, because Lord, when we think and have so much of doubt so lord you assure us as we sang in the first song lord thank you for the assurance that you give us our father Amen. that you are with us and all things are going to be possible with you oh lord thank you jesus let us sing this song with prayer and let us believe that god is going to change all our situation and strengthen us let us sing this song with prayer and belief amen Cause I have seen your faithfulness, my fortress, over and over. I have a home found in your name. I have a strength found in your grace. to life and do what you are famous for, what you are famous for. Make we do the waters, walk me through the fire, do what you are famous for, what you are famous for. Shut the boats of life, bring dry boats to life and do what you are famous for. What you are famous for
listening once again. God of exceedingly, God of abundantly, more than we ask or think. Lord, you will never fail. Your name is powerful. Your words unstoppable. All things are possible. all of us in your presence hallelujah thank you lord there is fullness of joy in your presence hallelujah hallelujah king eternal we want to praise you hallelujah hallelujah how lovely is your tabernacle oh lord of hosts Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you are the way, the truth, and the life. We want to praise you. We want to uplift your name on high. Hallelujah. 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 Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear children of God, let's enjoy that freedom that God gives us and let's worship Him. Hallelujah. 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 Let's ask the Holy Spirit to fill us. Hallelujah. Let Him his power fill us at this time hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord hallelujah without you we cannot do anything we thank you lord for your mighty power thank you lord that your god almighty hallelujah thank you lord everlasting father we want to praise you prince of peace we want to praise you lord hallelujah rose of sharon lily of the valley we want to praise you Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your everlasting love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Lord hears and delivers the righteous out of all their troubles. So let's praise Him. Hallelujah. How many times the Lord delivered us from so many troubles in this world. Hallelujah. How much the Lord has delivered us. Hallelujah. How many times the great physician has touched us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God reigns over the nations. God sits on His holy throne. Let's praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The earth is His footstool. We are at the footstool of our Lord. Let's praise Him. Hallelujah. What an awesome God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Christ, you are the victor. So we want to praise you. Hallelujah. You defeated Satan on the cross of Calvary. Let's praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, shepherd of Israel, we want to praise you. You are the one who leads Joseph like a flock. You dwell between the cherubim, Lord. Let's praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Exodus 25, verse 22, God says, And there I will meet with you, and I will speak with you from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubim which are on the ark of the testimony. God wants to Talk to each one of us, dear children of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the one who sanctifies us. Hallelujah. Let's ask God for a cleansing tonight. Hallelujah. Because he wants to talk to our spirit. He wants to say so many things to us tonight. Hallelujah. Moses was there ready and that's why God spoke to him. Hallelujah. He's looking for a Moses tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's open our hearts and let's ask God to communicate with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord shall reign forever. 
your god o zion to all generations hallelujah 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 christ right to rule was determined by the divine decree that's why uh, the lord said yet i have set my king on my holy hill of zion in psalms Uh, the lord says i will declare the decree the lord has said to me you are my son today i have begotten you hallelujah hallelujah christ is seated on the right hand. hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord prophet daniel prophesies break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever hallelujah god's kingdom alone will stand forever hallelujah there were many kings there were kingdom after kingdom but the kingdom of god consumed everything hallelujah god's kingdom alone will stand hallelujah hallelujah the word majesty means the royal power authority or dignity it's used as a title for a king david celebrates the supreme power of god over everything So let's sing the second song majesty let's look to our king and worship him salvation hallelujah god who is the one who beautifies us with salvation let's humble ourselves in his presence hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord you are the one lord who makes us dwell in safety thank you lord how much the world is looking for safety and protection but our god is the one who makes us dwell in safety let's praise him hallelujah hallelujah even the leaders in the world they don't have safety lord but you are the one lord who gives us the divine protection even for a leader even for a king lord you are the one who protects him lord thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah for thus says the high and the lofty one who inhabits eternity whose name is holy i will dwell in the high and holy place 
with him who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones the meaning of contrite is somebody who is feeling very sorry and guilty for something bad that one has done if somebody is regretting for sin or wrong doing that's the meaning of contrite if any of us brothers and sisters if we have come with feeling of guilt god wants to deliver you tonight as we worship hallelujah he is the one who revives the contrite hallelujah he doesn't want you to go back with that guilt hallelujah god wants brothers and sisters he wants to give you a complete deliverance tonight as we worship hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord holy spirit thank you lord thank you lord that you are moving in our midst you are moving in our hearts hallelujah you alone can revive and restore people thank you lord for your restoration hallelujah 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 let your people feel your mighty touch tonight hallelujah they have come seeking for you lord hallelujah they need your mighty hands to touch them hallelujah lord one touch from you your divine hands that's enough for them thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah we pray lord that you'll lift all their burdens tonight hallelujah with whatever sorrows or burdens they came inside the door of your house lord lord at this time lord as we worship let those burdens be lifted in the mighty name of our lord and savior jesus christ let your joy and fill let your joy and peace fill your dear children lord hallelujah hallelujah the peace that the world cannot give hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord you are our guide lord we want to praise you jesus you are our advocate hallelujah the psalmist says you are my hiding place and my shield i hope in your word hallelujah thank you lord there is hope in your word thank you lord hallelujah thank you lord that you are a god who keeps up your promises hallelujah each and every promise that you have given to your children lord in due time you are able and you are mighty to perform it hallelujah strengthen each and every child of god lord strengthen their faith lord hallelujah hallelujah david says make your face shine upon your servant save me for your mercy's sake hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord therefore know that the lord your god he is god the faithful god who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments hallelujah dear children of god lord as you love him as you love our lord god so dearly he will still remain faithful he is he will remain faithful to the covenant he has made with you he will remain faithful to the covenant he had, he has made with your fathers hallelujah let's praise him let's praise him hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord hallelujah let's sing this song we are here to bless your name gathered as your family to praise you and proclaim your faithfulness and mercy
praise you for your mercy. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you everything we are. Lifting our hearts and hands before you. hearts and hands before you, Lord. The reason why we came, that to glorify your name, you are worthy to be praised. Now we offer up that you are our light and you are our salvation. You are our everlasting rock. Hallelujah. Lamb of God, we want to praise you for all that you have done for us. We give you all honor and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So even at this time, I request Ashir Suresh to come and do the Bible reading. Praise Lord. Let us all turn our Bible to, uh, to the book of Mark, chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. Mark, chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. And again, he entered Capernaum after some days, and it was heard that he was in the house. Immediately, many gathered together, so that there was no longer room to receive them, not even near the door. And he preached the word to them. Then they came to him, bringing a paralytic who was carried by four men. And when they could not come near him because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was. So when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven you. And some of the scribes were sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. Why does this man speak blasphemies like this? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirits that they reasoned thus within themselves, he said to them, Why do you reason about these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven you? Or to say, Arise, take up your bed and walk, but that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, arise, take up your bed and go to your house. Immediately he arose, took up the bed and went out in the presence of them all, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. Amen. God's word always sanctifies us. So Ephesians chapter 5, I'll read verse 25 to 27. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, 
not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So even at this time, let's clap our hands and welcome um, Brother Maslamani. He is the excellent Bible teacher God has blessed us with. So let's clap our hands and welcome Brother and he'll be sharing God's word with us. Hallelujah. <clears throat> I want to thank and praise God once again for this time of worship and to stay in his presence <clears throat> for some time and to hear his voice and to share the word of God. So today is the English service. I'll be going slow and steady because this is not a Tamil service. And I'll <clears throat> and mostly I will finish before the time because I cannot speak more than what is written in my book because this is English service. Okay? So, please stand with me. of Acts chapter 11. Acts chapter 11. <clears throat> Can someone read verse 26? And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Let's pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for this time to worship you and hear your voice. Thank you for your presence this evening. We commit ourselves to your gracious word. Let your word strengthen us and transform us today. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> And the disciples were called Christians for the very first time in Antioch. So after the worldly ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ has come to an end, and he ascended to the heaven, the disciples started preaching the gospel in and around Jerusalem. At the time when there was a great persecution, and the disciples were scattered all around. That means earlier they were uh, centered only in Jerusalem. After the persecution came, they were all scattered throughout the, the world. Uh, let's read uh, Acts chapter 11, the same chapter, verse 19 to 21. Amen. <clears throat> so, for the very first time, the disciples were called as Christians in Antioch. So, when the disciples were scattered all around outside of Jerusalem, especially uh, Saul and Barnabas, they started uh, their work in the city of Antioch. This Antioch city is now, it is situated in Turkey. So it was filled with mostly the Gentile people. So initially when the, when the disciples were scattered, they preached gospel only to the Jews, as we read in verse 19. So initially there was no revelation 
that the gospel has to be preached to all over the world so they initially they preached only to the jews then the revelation came it was very hard for them to accept even we have to uh, preach the gospel to the gentiles so when the revelation came they started preaching the the gospel to the gentiles so especially in the in the city of antioch when they preached the gospel when they did miracles same like as our lord jesus christ did so after watching the disciples <coughs> doing the, the, the miracles same as our lord jesus christ has done so they observed and they called the disciples as christians for the very first time the word christian was coined by them by the people of antioch there was no word in the bible or it was it was there was no uh, the word christian in existence at that time so the very first time the disciples were called as christians okay now in the in the contemporary world we are doing it in reverse now what the church is trying to do is we are trying to make the christians as disciples amen initially the disciples were called as christians now as in the, in the in the church in the christian community what we are doing is in reverse what we are doing we are trying to convert the, the christians as disciples so let me explain to the <coughs> to you let's go to the great commission of our lord jesus christ matthew 28 let's read 19 and 20 matthew 28 someone read in with the mic please Matthew 28 19 and 20 Go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and lo I am with you always and even unto the end of the world amen Okay <clears throat> in the great commission of our Lord Jesus Christ he points out three three things what we have to do that is a final great commission given by our lord jesus christ the first thing is go e and make disciples number 2 baptize them in the name of our father son and the holy spirit number 3 teach them all i have taught you amen these are the three things contained in the great commission of our lord jesus christ so what jesus has told in the great commission what jesus has told first we are doing it in lost let me explain to you supposing a, a newcomer is coming to our church the first thing we give we do is we baptize them amen then we teach them and then finally we try to make him as a disciple in the contemporary in the in the, in the christian community what is happening is the discipleship comes lost we are thinking the discipleship is the final uh, position of a believer so we are trying to convert the believer or we teach them and finally we are trying to make them as a disciple amen so the discipleship today what we are seeing is we are taking discipleship lessons in the bible colleges and in seminaries we think the discipleship is of higher standard so initially for a newcomer we cannot teach disciple that is what we think but initially what jesus has commissioned is the first point the first thing what we have to do jesus told go e and make disciples then baptize them then teach them all i have taught you this is the order jesus christ has given and this is the uh, the, the first thing in the in the in the early church 
in, in the city of Antioch. That's why they call the disciples as Christians. Amen. And the disciples were called Christians for the very first time in Antioch. Okay. Called by whom? Called by the people of Antioch. Called by the people of this world. So, <clears throat> the name Christian, what we understand here is, the name Christian is not a degree we earn from an university. The name Christian is not a, what you call, it's not a title. Just because I'm born in a Christian family, I don't become a Christian. The name Christian, I don't gain, I don't gain that name Christian because I have a biblical name. What we understand from here is the name Christian is a witness. The name Christian is a testimony given by the world, by the people who watch us. Amen. So, but now we are trying to make the Christians as a disciple. But in the earlier days, they called the disciples as Christians. Amen. That is what I'm trying to say. We are doing the things in reverse. That is a problem we are facing today. That is the reason we could not evangelize the world today. Amen. So, why did people call disciples a Christian? Disciples were called as Christians, but why? Because <clears throat> they preached Christ. They preached like Christ. They spoke like Christ. They ministered like Christ. They did miracles like Christ. When they saw the disciples, they saw Christ. Amen. That is the reason they call them as Christians. Now you see the standard of the word Christians. Today we call everyone as a Christian. Amen. If I ask a name, Christian name, we call them a Christian. That is not the standard set in the Bible for a Christian. <coughs> okay. Uh, let us read Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Acts chapter 4, verse 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled, and they realized that they had been with Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> so when, when Peter and John, in Acts chapter, the previous, the previous chapter, Peter and John healed the lame person. And everybody, uh, and everybody were astonished how these people, an ordinary people, can do such a wonderful miracle. So there was a great uh, a crowd gathered, and all the scribes and the Pharisees and, and all the leaders assembled together and made Peter and John stood in, mid, in, the, in the midst of them, and they asked, shall we read verse 7? Four seven. And when they had set them in the midst, they mm. asked, "By what power or by what name have you done this?" Amen. When they had set them in the maze, they asked, "By what power or by what name you have done this?" What power and what name? So they knew there is power in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now they want to know on what power. And on what name you are doing this miracle. And finally, and the scribes and on all the leaders, they were asking how you did this, uh, you were able to do this miracle. And Peter and John, the word says, Peter filled with the Holy Spirit, he gave a wonderful short message. Okay. I don't, we don't have time to read the, those verses. He gave a short message. And after the short message, people, they understood 
these people were lame people these people were uneducated people untrained people and finally they found the reason what's the reason they were with jesus christ they were with jesus christ that is the reason they were able to do this wonderful miracle okay so as the, as our lord jesus christ completed his worldly ministry he ascended to the heaven and seated on the throne and the disciples continued the ministry of our lord jesus christ they did exactly what jesus has done what jesus has left the disciples have just continued the only difference is our lord jesus christ was not present physically he was not present in flesh all the rest of the things it was exactly the same how our lord jesus christ has ministered the disciples just continued amen so now we need to see the the, the message that the content of the message is who is a disciple and who is a christian and today where we stand <coughs> that is going to be the content of the message as i said i will finish soon <laughs> okay so now who is a disciple the word disciple in the dictionary it says a follower a disciple is a follower one who follows so disciple is a one who follows let's read acts chapter 10 verse 27 acts 10 27 and as he talked with him he went in and found many who had come together 1027 I'm sorry I think I think John 1027 My sheep hear my voice mm. and I know them and they follow me Amen So my sheep know my voice and they follow me Okay so how Jesus live, we need to see how Jesus selected his disciples he called them and this they they heard the voice and they just followed them let's read mark chapter 3 verse 13 to 15 mark chapter 3 verse 13 to 15 and he went up on the mountain and called to him those he himself wanted and they gave, and they came to him then he appointed 12 that they might be with him and that he might send them out to the preach and to have power to heal sickness and to cast out demons amen <clears throat> this is how jesus selected the disciples the very first purpose why jesus selected the disciple is that they might stay with me that they must stay with him so the disciple is a one who the first he who stays with our lord jesus christ right so we read next mark chapter 1 mark 1:16 to 20 how jesus has selected now as his disciples the of galilee he saw simon and andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishers and jesus said unto them come ye after me and i will make you to be fishers of men mm-hmm. and straightway they forsook their nets and followed him and when he had gone a little further thence and he saw James the son of Zebedee and John his brother who also were in the ship mending their nets and straight away he called them and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and went after him amen <coughs> they left their net they left their boat and followed them as soon as they heard the voice they just followed them this is the quality of a disciple a disciple is a one who always stays with him who hears his voice and then he follows him luke chapter 511 so when they had brought their boats to land they forsook all and followed him they left everything and followed christ luke chapter 5 27:28 And after these things he went forth and saw a publican named Levi 
sitting at the receipt of custom, and he said unto him, Follow me. And he left all, rose up, and followed him. Amen. So, when, when Jesus called the disciples, they just left everything. They heard his voice. As soon as they heard the voice of our Lord Jesus Christ, they left everything and followed him. So, who is a disciple? The disciple is a one. The very purpose God chose the disciple is to stay with them. To stay with our Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, a disciple hears his voice. Number three, the disciple follows him. These are the three qualities of a disciple. Today the discipleship lessons are taken in the seminaries, in the Bible colleges and all. They are taking it in, in elaborate. So these are the, the very basic foundational uh, the doctrine of a, of, a Christ, of a disciple. The qualities of a disciple. Who is a disciple? The disciple is the one who always stays with our Lord. The disciple is the one who always hears his voice. The disciple is the one who follows him. Amen. So for every new believer who is coming to the church, we need to teach this thing. Because our Lord Jesus Christ has commanded, go ye and make disciples. Make disciples. So the disciple is the one, the number two, he is the one who hears his voice. How God speaks to us? Through the word of God. When we read Bible, God speaks to us. Sometimes, even when you read the Bible, one or two chapters, and yet we cannot, we, we may end up not hearing his voice. There is a difference in reading the Bible and hearing his voice. You may read five chapters, ten chapters, and end up not hearing his voice. How can it happen? One pastor said, <clears throat> how to read a Bible? How to read Bible? He said, read the Bible until God speaks to you. Read the Bible until God speaks until you hear his voice. We can read Bible without hearing his voice. Yes, it is possible. Amen. Our Lord Jesus told in Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, man shall never, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of our Lord. Every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Jesus was quoting the, uh, the, the verse from Deuteronomy 8 verse 3. So we need to read the Bible until God opens his mouth and speaks to us. Amen. So if you stay with our Lord Jesus Christ, hearing his voice, and yet not following him, there is a chance... Yes, I am staying with our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, I am staying in his presence. Even I am hearing his voice. And yet if I am not following him, then I am not a disciple. Amen. So, how it is possible? Imagine there is a sheep which is not following his master. A sheep which is not following the shepherd, what will happen? It will lose its way, it will go astray, and finally end up somewhere. Jesus told a parable. A man had a hundred sheep, and one was missing. Right? What is the reason for the missing sheep? Because... That sheep did not follow the shepherd. We are staying with the Lord Jesus Christ, yes. I am reading the Bible. I am hearing his voice. Yet I am not following. What is the consequence? I will miss the way and finally end up somewhere. Amen. It is possible. 
That is a family who came from an Hindu background. He came to the church. They were very enthusiastic. They were regular in attending the service. They were regular in attending all the uh, the parts of the service, sisters meeting, brothers meeting on everything. So initially they were very, uh, you know, normally a person coming from a Hindu background, what they will think, no? <clears throat> they expect more from, from us, from a Christian. Normally they have a high regard over Christians. All the religion people normally they respect our Lord Jesus Christ. They like our Lord Jesus Christ very much. The only thing is, they have not come up to the point where to believe him and to follow him. So normally, when, when a person, when a family comes from an Hindu background into the church, they expect more from a Christian because we are Christians. They think a Christian will not lie. They think the Christian will not backbite. They think the Christians are different. They expect, that is their expectation. So this Hindu family also they expected, they came into the church with a great expectation. So they asked the pastor many questions from the Bible. Some of the chapters in the Old Testament it's very, uh, normally it's difficult to explain to a newcomer. Some chapters are there in the Old Testament. Okay, they used to ask a lot of doubts and this one. And pastor used to explain to them. And slowly, as the expectation comes, unfortunately, there were some of the, the believers around them they were not up to that expectation. They found the, the, the same thing, what the worldly people are doing, the same thing the Christian is also doing. The same backbiting, the same unnecessary talks. And finally, they complained to the pastor, pastor, why this man, this brother is doing like this? Why this sister is doing like this? I came with great expectation. I thought they will be, the Christians are like Christ. And pastor explained to them what pastor told. We need to see, look unto Jesus Christ alone. He alone is good. Then they told, we know, God, we know Jesus Christ is good, but why these people are not? following them. And pastor repeatedly he was telling, don't look at others, look only for Lord Jesus Christ. In Hebrews 12, 1 we see, he is author and finisher of our faith. So let us fix our eyes on our Lord Jesus Christ and just follow him. Just follow Jesus Christ alone. <clears throat> and they were not much convinced. And the result is, they slowly backslided. They slowly backslided. As the, say, as the sheep which is lost, finally it went somewhere. So what I'm saying, why I'm saying this is, this is the danger of not following our Lord Jesus. A disciple is the one who stays with our Lord Jesus Christ, who hears his voice and follow him. Amen. Now, number two, what Jesus told in the Great Commission. <clears throat> After making them disciples, what Jesus told, baptize them in the name of Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of Holy Spirit. So what is baptism? Baptism is not a christening ceremony. Baptism is not a name-giving ceremony. I mean, in the, in the present Christian churches, mostly people are giving baptism to the, to the child, to the children. So normally they give a new name, okay? 
baptism is not a name giving ceremony when lord jesus told this he told baptize them in the name of our father in the name of son and in the name of the holy spirit so indirectly when a person is baptized god is giving his name amen are you with me baptize them in the name of the father baptize them in the name of the son baptize them in the name of the holy spirit so when a person comes out of the baptism pool he comes out with the name of our lord jesus christ he comes out with the name of the triune god inscribed on his forehead so when a person baptized and he comes out of the pool he comes out as a disciple normally when a newcomer when we give baptism we we think they are newcomers we think they are babes it is not so what jesus christ has taught so after the baptism jesus christ as uh, our lord has given his name on his on, on his head so he go he, he comes out of the pool and he goes into the world he lives as a as a living testimony and the world sees him and call him a christian are you with me until then he is not a christian that is my point he is a believer he has been baptized and the next day he goes to this he, he goes to his office the same office the same worldly things which are going there now he goes there today now he is a different person now he behaves differently now he doesn't want to go along with the with the worldly people and now his own friend now he will ask have you become a christian are you a christian amen so a disciple becomes a christian when he lives as a testimony the christian the name christian is not a title it is a testimony and it is a witness given by the people of this world who are watching us amen we'll read isaiah chapter 43 verse 7 isaiah 43 verse 7 everyone that is called by my name for i have created him for my glory i have informed him yeah i have made him amen so called by his name and created for his glory second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 says my people who are called by name who are called by my name amen so we go into this world bearing his name hearing his voice following following him living like christ speaking like christ and when the world sees us they will call us a christian so we might have taken baptism and if you are not following if you are not living as a living testimony then we cannot be called as a christian okay after the resurrection of our lord jesus christ disciples they gathered in the upper room they were waiting for the promise of god and the holy spirit fell on them in the in the day of pentecost so act chapter 1 8 says the spirit fell on them they spoke they all they spoke in different languages Acts chapter 1 says when the holy spirit comes on you you shall receive power and you shall be my witness in jerusalem in judea in samaria and to the uttermost part of the world so who is a christian the definition of a christian is a disciple <coughs> filled with the holy spirit living as a testimony is called as a christian i mean i'll repeat who is a true christian 
before he becomes a christian he is already a disciple you see the standard god has set so we as a christian <clears throat> a disciple filled with the holy ghost living as a testimony is called a christian amen acts chapter 11 26 again says the disciples were called christians first in antioch so today let us think are we uh, where we stand are we a disciple or the world which is seeing us the people of the world who are seeing us do they really call call us as a christian are we a disciple today or are we a christian today so let us i don't have time and uh, let us commit ourselves to the word which we have uh, just heard so as a uh, confession let us all sing i'm a christian saved by his blood i'm a christian filled with the spirit i'm a christian speaking in tongues let us all stand and let us confess our faith His blood. I'm a Christian filled with the Spirit. I'm a Christian speaking in tongues. I'm a Christian for God is glory. I'm a Christian called for His work. I'm a Christian full of His power. I'm a Christian shaking the world. I'm a Christian glory to God. Christian band marching on through the land pouring forth in this may honoring every hope praising Christian band marching on through the land Christian carrying the cross I'm a Christian willing to serve Christian hating the world I'm a Christian hating all evil I'm a Christian never ashamed I'm a Christian standing for Jesus I'm a Christian telling my friends Be a Christian living for Jesus I'm a part of the Christian band Marching on Marching on through the land I'm a Christian fighting to win I'm a Christian never defeated I'm a Christian under the flag I'm a Christian for from a leader I'm a Christian praising the Lord I'm a Christian never rejoicing I'm a Christian under the flag I'm a Christian, always a Christian. I'm for the Lord, Christian man, marching on through the land, going forth in His name, conquering every foe. Praising Him, Christian man, marching on through the. Amen. God bless. Kindly be seated. <coughs> I thank Brother Maslamani for the lovely word of God, the precious word of God that 
brother brought for us let's pray for for his good health and his ministry in our church and let's pray for his family also let's bow down our head and let's pray to god father god we thank and praise you lord thank you lord throughout the service you have been with us thank you lord hallelujah thank you lord we pray for nations lord where there is no peace lord where there is struggle where there is lord where there are wars going on father god we pray that your mighty hand will be upon every country every leader lord you are the one lord there are the, the heart of every ruler is in your hand lord as a church we pray lord that you will guide them guide the heart of these rulers according to your will lord in these last days lord we pray lord that you will give peace in qatar we pray for our motherland we pray for india and sri lanka lord we also pray for canada where our dear ones are living we pray that lord you will bless these nations with peace thank you lord thank you jesus we are praying for all the children and youth and all our dear congregation lord according to the word that we heard lord give us let, lord let our ears be attentive whenever you're talking to us thank you lord for your precious word lord during our everyday bible reading time our quiet times with you lord give us grace lord to hear from you and to give us grace lord to be your disciples whatever the situation is hallelujah we pray that you will strengthen everybody's faith Lord give us grace Lord to follow you all the days of our life. Thank you Lord for the life of every saint. Lord those who have gone through this faith of this journey of faith. We thank you Lord for their lives and testimony, all the role model they have left for us. We thank you Lord for missionaries. Lord strengthen them. We pray for all missionary organizations. Bless them Lord. Lord whatever Lord even when they're working with children Lord and even when Lord in their mission field we pray that your mighty blessings will be upon them we pray for a divine protection on their lives Lord even all the false cases against our missionaries we pray Lord that you will deliver them only you can deliver them Lord give them peace of mind as they minister for your glory Hallelujah even in these last days give all of us the boldness to stand for you Lord to stand as a Christian Lord whatever is the situation even in times of persecution even places where Lord your children are persecuted give strength in them Lord let them stand for your name help all of us to stand for your name to the last breath of our life hallelujah thank you jesus we pray for our youth especially lord lord all those who are work waiting for their admissions into colleges lord we pray that you will open the right door lord and help them lord to get into lord their bachelor degrees be with them lord give them a desire for your word we pray for youth who are without jobs Lord we pray that you will grant them a job at the right time even uh, youth who have gone through Lord their exams Lord we pray that you will give them the victory hallelujah we pray that you will bless them with good health we pray that you will grant them good friends thank you Lord we pray for youth who are with stress and depression those who are caught up with addictions with alcohol and drugs Lord only you can deliver deliver them Lord we pray for christian institutions working with such youth and children Lord bless their work Lord bless their ministries hallelujah we pray very specially Lord for all our families all those who have gone for vacation 
fill them with your joy and help them lord come back safely we remember families lord who are going through problems because of all the problems in their work spot we pray for brothers who have lost their jobs we pray for bachelor brothers lord who are who have lord who have shed tears in your presence we pray that you will open new new doors lord for their jobs and businesses hallelujah we pray for all our bachelor brothers bless their families bless their children's education we pray for our new church hall lord evangelical churches alliance qatar thank you lord for this new hall what you're going to give us Hallelujah we pray that you'll meet the needs of our church Lord make all of us cheerful givers help us Lord together Lord to support all that we have to do in your kingdom give us the cheerfulness hallelujah Lord we pray Lord that your blessing will be upon those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries we especially pray for sister Rachel Edwin Thank you Lord for her life and testimony Lord her ministry among the women Lord let your perfect will be done in her ministry bless Danny also bless Edwin brother Lord we remember all our beloved ones all our brothers sisters and children Lord all those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries this week bless them Lord we also pray for all our brothers sisters and children who have come to this service Lord bless them Lord with your peace and joy hallelujah we pray for all the ministries of our church let a mighty anointing be upon every coordinator every leader thank you Jesus we pray for tomorrow's uh, morning service Lord we pray that you'll bless the service and guide us thank you Lord we give you all honor and praise In Jesus name we pray amen Let's sing this let's rise up and sing this concluding song grace of our lord jesus christ the love of father and the sweet fellowship of our holy spirit rest upon us now and forever amen hallelujah 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 god bless you